and welcome back to our ongoing live. What do we do? Is this live? Yes. Sure. <laughs> you know, I spent a lot of my time selecting the finest, most topical mahogany boards, hand planing them to a smooth finish, assembling them using millimeter perfect glueless Japanese joinery, then adding premium black oil sunflower seeds to create for you the bespoke Frank Lloyd Wright luxury birdhouse that is my monologue. But sometimes, just sometimes, folks, I mix up my meds, forget I'm not supposed to combine any of them with Jaeger. Then I fish a wet cardboard box out from underneath the camper that's up on blocks in the yard, fill it with expired Slim Jims, and wait for my feral forest friends to arrive at the ramshackle raccoon speakeasy of news that is my segment. Quarantine while. Quarantine while. Due to COVID precautions, the Burning Man Festival has been canceled for the second year in a row. Good decision. You don't want people to feel unsafe while walking in the desert on homemade 13-foot stilts and tripping on acid 100 miles from the nearest hospital. Of course, this also means people are really going to miss Burning Man's famed orgy dome. Makes it sound like they're fighting to the death in there. 200 people enter. Then enter 200 people. <laughs> Can you imagine... Getting a whiff of that. And this is a bad omen for burners, as I'm told they're called, because the return of Burning Man had, for many participants, become a litmus test in the nation's collective journey back to some semblance of normalcy. Because when you see a naked man in steampunk goggles driving a dinosaur-shaped doom wagon with a calliope engine, gold-plated nipples, and his penis feathered to look like a toucan, you definitely think, back to normal. Caw-caw. Quarantine while Taco Bell is testing its own meat alternative. That's funny, I thought Taco Bell was meat alternative. The product uses a meat substitute made of a blend of peas and chickpeas. It's being dubbed the Cravitarian Taco. It's a perfect name for anyone who thought, what if my lunch also sounded like a Gwyneth Paltrow cult? Join the Cravitarians. You won't believe where we put the chickpeas. It's my vagina. <laughs> The product was developed by the chain's test kitchen. That's right, Taco Bell has a test kitchen, despite repeated calls from the international community to stop testing their food on humans. Quarantine while. According to researchers, heavy drinking might impair the immune response to the COVID vaccine. Damn it! Science finally found a downside to heavy drinking. Researchers provided rhesus monkeys access to alcoholic beverages and then looked and how their bodies responded to the vaccine. I'm guessing access to alcoholic beverages is also how you come up with the idea of getting a rhesus monkey hammered. Quarantine while. Great news for all you texters out there because as part of iOS 14.5, Apple is adding new emojis such as face in clouds, exhaling face, and face with spiral eyes, which you can use to say, ooh, there's weed at this party. Okay, I partook in the weed. And help, a drunk rhesus monkey just gouged out my eyes. Apple's callback. Apple's also adding some new hearts, namely the heart on fire and mending heart. Perfect for when you want to text someone that you just ate a Cravitarian burrito, but are still ready to give love another chance. <laughs> Quarantine while, after someone dug up a negative review from 80 years ago, Citizen Kane just slipped from 100% to 99% on Rotten Tomatoes. I guess now if you want to see a movie with a perfect score, you'll have to watch Derek Delgadio's In and of Itself, executive produced by Stephen Colbert and Evelyn McGee Colbert. I'm not saying we're the new Orson Welles. I'm just saying Rotten Tomatoes is saying it. And if you disagree, you can kiss my rosebud. We'll be right back with a performance by Julia Michaels. 